After three months on the job, the chief of staff at the Grand Rapids Police Department has stepped down. Carrie Ann Thomas announced her resignation today. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores is live in Grand Rapids to explain what led to this decision. Andrea. Kirk, we're told by the city that Thomas's decision is a personal one and not based on any disciplinary action from the police department. Now, Thomas started with the police department less than three months ago after being let go from the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety. She was fired by the Kalamazoo city manager for police response during demonstrations by the Proud Boys and Black Lives Matter groups last summer in 2020. Now, the city of Grand Rapids says that this decision isn't based on her performance and she's choosing to leave the department. Department. The president of activist group Justice for Black Lives says she was shocked to hear this news earlier today, but ultimately she's glad because she says Thomas should never have been hired in the first place. It was definitely a slap in the face um, to have someone with her history be hired at the police department, especially since we have been demanding transparency and accountability towards its officers. Now, I spoke with an organizer with the Greater Grand Rapids NAACP, and he says, quote, it's disappointing and not surprising. It speaks to the need for a change in leadership for the Grand Rapids Police Department. Hopefully, the next police chief and chief of staff are dedicated to actual long-term transformational change in Grand Rapids. Now, the city says Thomas's responsibilities will be absorbed into the department until the next police chief can decide on her replacement. Now, current chief Eric Payne will be retiring early next year. Juliet. Andrea, thank you for that.